Yay, super excited. Got a couple of them in. Ship nice and early, which is pretty cool. So excited for more Speed Duel decks. We get Pegasus and Yami. Match of the Millennium. Pretty awesome. And then some cool new faces to see. Bakura and Merrick. Twisted Nightmares. Pretty darn awesome. Shadow Games Return. And we'll have a look, see what we got. Yay. Alright, it looks pretty cool. There is Yugi. So, Advanced Ritual Art is the Ultra Rare. Very, uh... I like the things here. I feel like with these decks, you can make a lot of different ritual kind of decks. And then the two new skill cards are pretty neat. Ritual of Black Mastery. Add this skill during your main phase while you control Black Luster Soldier or Magician of Black Chaos. Ritual summon this turn. While you control Black Luster Soldier, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's skill. Also, once per turn, if your opponent activates trap card, draw one card immediately. That's pretty nice. While you control Magician of Black Chaos, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's spell effects. Also, Magician of Black Chaos destroys a monster battle. Add a spell from your graveyard to your, to your hand. Not too bad. Knight of Legends, see so you can even make a Gaia deck, which I think is kind of neat. After this skill during main phase, each turn one Gaia the Fierce Knight, you can normal summon, can be summoned without tributing, apply the following effects. If, you know, basically give it a piercing effect, and then if you inflict damage with a skill, draw two cards and discard one, you cannot activate set cards in the spell trap card zone. So I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of neat uh, stuff you can do with those. And of course, you got Dark Magician, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Curse of Dragon, Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one. Beaver Warrior, Celtic Guardian, Silver Fang, Giant Soldier of Stone. And what I like about the Speed Duels is how we get so many cards that we never got. And then we're getting them. Sure, they're like crappy normal monsters or stuff like that, but this is still pretty neat. Shadow Spectre. That's so old looking, but it's pretty neat. Powerful in groups, this animal spirit can be found in the wastelands. Ho ho. <laughs> then you got Charging Gaia the Fierce Knight, which is pretty good. Then you got, you know, the reprints of Senju. And the other one you got Sonic Bird. Old Vindictive Magician's pretty good. Karibo, Magician of Faith, and Sphere Karibo. That thing, for the Ultra Rare, that, that thing is going for a lot of money. But now you can get, like, a common of it. And again, it works as just the good first effect, and then for Rituals, that's a good effect. So there's a lot of nice stuff here. There's Black Luster Soldier, the Ritual for Polymerization, Soul Release. Wish it was the good Japanese art, but maybe that'll be a lost art someday for us, right? Soul Release is a pretty neat card. Spell Shred and Arrow for their Speed Duels. These cards are really good. Spiral Spear Strike, Twister, Summoner's Art, Fighting Spirit. Again, another Elephant's Gift. And then these two, which I forgot even existed realistically... But I love the artwork on this one. That's pretty cool. Goblin Circus. Once per turn during your end phase, reveal the bottom card of your deck. Then place it on top of the deck or banish it face down. I don't know. That's kind of good for this, you know. Each time you take a thousand or more damage by your opponent's card effect or their attack, draw one card for every thousand you took. Not bad. Good card right now for this. Spellbind Circle can be very annoying. Magic Jammer also not too bad. Eliminating the League. And then Gaia the Dragon Champion. So, it's a very nice deck here. I think with these, you can have some fun, cool ritual decks and stuff like that. I think it'd be fun. That's what I like about the Speed Duels. They're not... Every deck right now in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! just seems to be like, Oh, look at my Red Eyes deck. Oh, it's like maybe five Red Eyes cards, the rest of it's the same stuff. Oh, look at my Harpy deck. Five Harpies and the rest of it... Well, it's not really have Harpies, but you know what I'm saying. But we get DD Crow. I mean, wow, another Ultra it. Another ultra rare DD Krill, pretty sweet. And then of course we got the new Thousand Eyes spell. Look at Pegasus. Pegasus was so cool. Activate this skill during your main phase. Once per turn, you can discard one card and use one of the following skills, but you cannot conduct your battle phase, which is fine, I'd say, because what Relinquish and uh, Thousand Eyes trick does. You get ritual summon one relinquish from your hand by tributing a monster whose level is one or more. I mean, that's not that bad. 
Fusion summon 1,000 extra from extra deck using monster from your hand or field's fusion material. Flip this card over. So, I mean, you don't even need, like, a polymerization or the ritual spell to get them out. I think that's pretty badass. And then right, Pegasus. Mm-hmm. The right, J-Boy. And then Toon Mayhem. The first time each Toon World in your spell trap zone will be destroyed? It's not. So it's not too bad. It's a nice idol. Illusionist, Faceless Mage. Toon Alligator. Red Archery Girl. Mungo Rayuran. Toon Barrel Dragon. Almost forget that was a tune. I feel like these are the two of the weakest. Because, I don't know, you still have a hard time getting that effect off. And then Buster Blader, you need dragons for as, you know... Unless you're running against someone that plays dragons, I just don't see the point. But we got some good ones. Toon Dark Magician. That's a good card. Toon Summon Skulls, not bad. Toon Mermaid. They edit the normal stuff for these monsters. But for the Toon one, she gets to keep her breasts unaltered. Two Toon Mass Sorcerers. Gemini Elf. Illusionist Faceless Mage. Whoops. Illusionist Faceless Magician. Sonic Bird. And then these two are pretty good. You can make fun really... Uh, These are good effects for the Speed Duels. You get you can make some good rituals in this. There's Relinquished, of course. It's Ritual. Toon World. Toon Table of Contents. Toon Rollback. Polymerization. That's not even not too bad, I would say. Toon Mask. Seven Tools. Dust Tornado. Security Orb. I even forgot that was a card. That's still pretty good. And then Thousand Eyes Restrict. Not bad, I'd say. I think they're both really good decks for the... Show off those. <laughs> for those two. First off, we got awesome Yami Bakura. He looks so cool in that art. Santa Claus, and they call me Santa Claus. <laughs> so that's cool and all terrific. Man, for these... There's a good thing there. You can do a Lava Golem and stuff and make a deck. But I think you can make a lot of decks with these. I think these are some of the best ones. Inner Conflict. Activate this skill during your main phase. Once per duel, you can pay half your life points. And take control of one monster your opponent controls in the end phase, but it cannot attack directly this turn. That's not bad. It's all about that control. It's very nice. Look how badass he is. Into the Darkness Below. <laughs> After this skill, during your main phase, once per turn, you can discard one normal fiend and use one of the fallen skills. Draw one card. Put this card over. If you have four more normal fiend monsters with different names in your graveyard, add one monster from your deck to your hand. So again, good skills. And of course, the ever awesome Dark Necrofear. And so again, Dark Necrofear would be great for this. And then here's the new stuff again. Neck Hunter. What? What is this? He looks so cool and creepy. A fiend that wields a mean sickle and fires devastating beams from its eyes. <laughs> I can see. The Earl of Demise, that which feeds on life. That is so cool. That's so interesting looking. A monster that feeds on the energy of other creatures. I mean, it's so cool getting these. Whiptail Crow, the gross ghost of Fled Dreams, Headless Knight. Earthbound Spirit, the Shadow who controls the dark. Look at that son of a bitch. He looks cool. The Shadow that dwells in the dark, paralyzing its opponents and rendering them harmless. He looks pretty cool. Gap, Garp, Gap, the Divine Soldier, Dark Ruler Hades, no horns though. Puppet Master, Lesser Fiend, no horns though. Twin Headed Wolf, Prometheus, interesting. Lancer Archfiend, and we got the Mimics. I feel like in Speed Duels, Mimics might actually work. So who knows? Trap of, uh, trap of Darkness. Trap of Trap of. Mask of Darkness. Getting as a common, so that's nice. Mad Reloader. He's still sick looking artwork. Sword of Dark Destruction. Offerings to the Doomed. Twister. Dark Eruption. Veil of Darkness. Allure of Darkness. Creeping Darkness. A lot of darkness. <laughs> and uh, Zoma, which is awesome. Common Charity, and the Forceful Checkpoint, which is nice to see all these kind of, you know, this is, you can make a lot of decks with these. You can make some good demon decks. You can use the Trap Monsters now, I guess, because uh, you know who has a Trap Monster, Durr. Merrick with Lava Golem. And for the Ultra Rare, you get Magical Stone Excavation. Again, probably pretty good for uh, Speed Duels. And Ultra Rare, pretty nice. 
on to the skills. Here is that evil SLB. But look at that face. I love it just because he used that face. Shadow Reborn. <laughs> yeah, derp. Activate this skill during your main phase once per duel. You can pay half your life points. Special summon one monster from either graveyard. But your opponent takes no bad damage this turn. I don't know. It still feels like that's pretty, pretty powerful, I'd say. And Twisted Personality. Each time a player loses life points, place one counter on this, max three. Once per turn during your main phase, you can use one of the following skills. Remove two counters, discard a card at random from your opponent. Remove three counters, destroy one face-up card your opponent controls. You got Lava Golem. This could be some fun disruptive stuff. Yaiba Robo. I mean, look at that. Sheesh. Did we get this one? Uh, cubicle machine equipped with cutting blades for shredding an opponent to mince me. To, yeah, he's fierce, all right. Brave Cesar. Armed with a mass of scissors. This monster can clip an enemy into desired shape and size. And then there's the stats, in case I want to see. It's like flipped. Melkid, the four-faced beast. Gilgarth. And then Dark Prisoner. This one here looks pretty neat for artwork. I like how he's kind of like locked into the background a little bit in the chain stuff. The mask on his hood and the hooded head. This monster bends light to hide its image from the eyes of opponents. Oh, that's pretty neat looking. Doku Royaiba. He's back again, that ugly thing with the snake going through him. <laughs> and then Dark Lucius, level 4, level 6, and level 8. I think these honestly could work out. Legendary Fiend. I mean, this is basically Merrick's deck. Bizer Shock. Hell Palmer could be very interesting in speed duels. Me Fist. Lady of Sand of Flames, I was interested in. And again, you still get her hips. Her bare hips, so I'm surprised they didn't censor that now they reprinted it. But hey, 800 damage. You get three of those in your deck, and you flip them, I'm sure you lose, you know, what, nine cards, but you're doing 24 damage. 2,400. Visor Desk, plus, it's cool to see this. This was an interesting choice. Visor Desk, New Doria. Dark Jero. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can be just uh, bad to the opponent. Drilago, Bulganian. Here's with his drill penis still. We can have that, but we can't have cleavage. Tribute to the Doomed. Level up. <laughs> Creature Seizure. Falshian Bargain, I don't even know what the hell that is. Target one special summon monster on either field. Send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one level four lower norm monster from your hand. Interesting. Supply Squad, Rope of Life, Nightmare Wheel, Coffin Cellar, Metal Reflex Slime. And Prideful Roar. So I don't know, I think these are all very... You can make some fun decks out of these. I think some powerful decks for speed duels. So I'm excited with all of these. Worth it picking up. I hope they do more. This is the first thing they've done for speed duels. These four decks, basically. Since the last uh, booster set they had in December. So five months later, hopefully we get another booster set or something. But these are fun. I love the speed duels. They're pretty cool. Hope you like it. Support the speed duels, and I think I might show some decks once in a while. Later. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding,